Rocky Jones, Space Ranger, Space Ranger, Space Ranger, starring Richard Crane. In Out of This World, Chapter One. Isn't it, Professor? Yes, Mr. Secretary. What's happening? It's being pulled out of its orbit by some gigantic force. What reason can there be? Hermes is barren and uninhabited. When the attracting power is cut off, Hermes will go into free fall in outer space for eternity. Could it happen to one of the inhabited planets of the United Worlds? That's too frightening to even think about, Mr. Secretary. We'll see if we can make any sense out of it. These charts will tell everything known to us about sun systems beyond our own. You think this overpowering force may come from outside of our system? We'll have to start with that assumption. In the celestial calendar, this is the 302nd day. That places Hermes in this area. I saw it leave its orbit at 0500 celestial time. This was its exact position. It moved directly away from our sun. Now, a straight line may show what was pulling it away. The planet Regalio in Alpha Centauri's system. Yes, Hermes was heading directly for the planet Regalio in the Alpha Centauri system. of space affairs for you, Mr. Secretary. Another strange incident. I'll explain on the way. Where is it, Marshal? Right here, Mr. Secretary. Is this part of the unidentified parachute? It's all here, sir. Professor, do you recognize the material? It appears to be some sort of metal. It's unknown to me. It was checked at the lab, sir. They couldn't identify it. Perhaps we have visitors from outer space. Were any parachute landings reported? No, Mr. Secretary. This parachute was washed ashore on the east coast. Order the field rangers to start an immediate search. There are strangers with us. We must find them. And Marshal. First, contact Rocky Jones by astrophone. Yes, sir. The destruction of a planetoid and unknown arrivals on Earth. They may be related. What's your call, sir? Rocky Jones on spaceship Silver Moon. Come in, Rocky Jones. This is Rocky. This is Space Headquarters. Stand by. Rocky, this is Secretary Drake. Oh, how are you, Mr. Secretary? We're on the return flight. I hoped you were, but we need some information urgently, Rocky. It can't wait until your arrival here. Rocky! Rocky! Rocky, are you there? Emergency, sir. We'll contact later. Lena, Bobby, come forward. Rocky. Where's it from? We'll find out. Spaceship Silver Moon to Flying Saucer. Come in. Come in, Flying Saucer. Bobby, secure. This will approach That might have fire missiles. Three. Oh, fire bit. 
Can't we follow it, Rocky? That's an idea, Rocky. Go back to your stations. We've never run away from anything before. You too, Vina. Oh, okay. Come along, Bobby. This is Rocky Jones in the Silver Moon calling headquarters, space affairs. Come in, Secretary Drake. Rocky? We just sighted a flying saucer, sir. When we got within contact range, it fired a missile at us and then took off at great speed. I was going to ask you about any alien spaceships you might have encountered when you cut off. Shall we follow the flying saucer, sir? No, Rocky. Return to headquarters. Yes, Mr. Secretary. We'll land at approximately 1,400 Earth time tomorrow. We'll be looking for you. Out. Very good, sir. Out. Our men have safely parachuted to the planet Earth. Are you in contact with the men? Yes, sir. Each man is equipped with a miniature telepulse. Is it powerful enough to negotiate the great distance between here and the solar system? Yes, my Nizem. They are powerful enough to reach to the ends of the universe if necessary. Good. You will remain in the solar system until their mission is successfully completed. As you command. usually here to meet us. Is anything wrong? We'll soon find out. I have a feeling all is not okay. You mean okay, Bill. Oh, you know what I mean when I don't say it correctly. If you've picked up a lot of Bobby's talk since you came from Herculon. Oh, Bobby's a good teacher, huh? I'll report to Secretary Drake. You stand by at quarters. You think maybe we'll get some fast action, Rocky? I think maybe. That's for me. Mr. Secretary. Professor. Uh, Rocky. Was something wrong, sir? Yes, Rocky. I'll explain in a moment. It's nice to have you back. Well, it's good to be home, sir. Even if it's only for a short time. Perhaps shorter than you think. We uh, missed you on our flight, Professor. No, I don't like to miss them, Rocky, but this time I'm glad I did. Rocky, we're going to explain an assignment of greater scope than anything ever attempted. That sounds like a challenge, sir. There's a destructive magnetic force from outer space being directed against the United Worlds. Well, that may explain the presence of the flying saucer we tried to intercept. We can only guess, Rocky. I want you to listen to Professor Mayberry's explanation. Uh, these charts will help us, Rocky. Marshal. Hello, Rocky. The outer boundaries of our solar system are close to that of the neighboring star Alpha Centauri. In that system, Regalio is the planet nearest to us. Regalio has two moons, which at regular intervals are in this position, like a huge magnet, with one moon the positive pole, the other negative. The Regalians have undoubtedly discovered the secret of magnetic force, but it's possible that can only be used when the moons are in this position and only at an object directly in line with Regalio, just as this magnet attracts metal that comes into its field. How can they use it? Secretary Drake and I saw the planetoid Hermes pulled out of its orbit by this tremendous magnetic force. Well, can it be directed against her? Yes, Rocky. In 30 days, Earth will be directly in line with Regalio's planetary magnet. Earth can then be pulled out of its orbit. That gives us just 30 days to check Professor Mayberry's theory and to neutralize the magnet. And we've never attempted a space flight as far as Regalio. And merely reaching that planet isn't the answer. The crew of a single spaceship would be helpless. There isn't a space station near enough to operate from. There is one planet that would serve, Herculon, which is ruled by Juliandra. That might prove dangerous, Mr. Secretary. 
On important matters in the past, Herculon has opposed the United Worlds. Our relations with Juliandra, the present ruler, are excellent. Let's not forget that Juliandra's father, Bavara, was always our bitter enemy. Yes, I realize that some of the unfriendliness may still be left in Herculon, but it's a risk we must take because there's no alternative. Juliandra's our friend, I'm sure. What are your orders, Mr. Secretary? You'll proceed to Herculon and make a deal with Juliandra to use her planet as a base for operations against Regalio. How much can she be told? Whatever is needed to get her agreement. The Silver Moon's being readied. We can buy stuff today. Very good, Rocky. unable to get any answers from the man you captured, Rocky. He seems to be a regalian who was apparently parachuted from the flying saucer. Well, that puts us on the right course. Any report on the spaceship that was stolen, Mr. Secretary? Unfortunately, no. Here are your credentials and the agreement we'd like Juliana to sign. Goodbye and good luck. Goodbye, sir. I'll be eager to have your reports, Professor. I hope we'll be making celestial history. That's our signal, Professor. in the spaceship Silver Moon calling Juliandra, the suzerain of Herculon. Come in, please. Welcome, Rocky. I've been expecting to hear from you. With your permission, Juliandra, the Silver Moon will arrive on Herculon at uh, 1700. Of course. We'll all be happy to see you again. I'll have the platform cleared for you. Safe landing, Rocky. Thank you, Juliandra. Out. Rockon, have the landing platform cleared. Rocky Jones is arriving. It will be done, Juliandra. My 
Lorraine? sister comes to visit me. You sent for me, Noviandra. When do I take my rightful place as suzerain? You're kept in this sealed off room because if you had any power on Herculan, you lead us to destruction, as our father Barbaro almost did before us. And how do you govern our people, my sister? Justly, I hope. And we are at peace with the United Worlds. If that is true, I'll give a toast to your reign and to the prosperity of Herculon. Will you drink to that? Theba, my jailer, will you join us? To Herculon. Jones, my suzerain. The landing platform is cleared for his spaceship. When Rocky Jones reaches Herculon, you will bring him to me. Under arrest. But, Juliandra, the Earth people are our friends. You have my orders. Carry them out. Four, Rocky. Working on landing base will guide us in. Good, Biff. Secure blast off belts for landing. Do you have anything else to say? Very little, Juliana, except that uh, this is a strange way to welcome friends. You assume too much, Rocky Jones. No one from the United Worlds was ever our friend. What have we done to offend you? You landed on our planet, isn't that enough? With your permission. Well, I now rescind it. Right on. Lock them up. Guards, take them away. Bippus. Herculon, why do you wear those clothes? Well, with your permission, my suzerain, since I became an exchange visitor to Earth. Return to your own clothes and your original duties. Yes, my suzerain. Space Station AW3, come in. Space Station AW3. Space Station AW3. Clark here. Go ahead. Secretary Drake's spaceship coming in for a landing. Are you clear? Landing berth clear. Arrive 1800. Out. Regalio, come in, Regalio. Pal to Regalio, come in. 
Regalia One, go ahead, Dal. I've taken over space station AW3. Excellent. Hold station and await orders from the Nizam. Regalio out. It's forbidden to anyone, my suzerain. Before this one time, I'm happy to forgive you, Biffin. Follow me. Back to your room, Noviandra, before you destroy everything I've tried to build up. No. Not when our people learn the truth. I am also the daughter of Barbaro. Take her back. No. Help me, Griffin. You still haven't won, my darling sister. You must hurry, Ziva. I can handle her business. <laughs> You've just learned a great secret, Biffin. You must swear to keep it. I swear, my suzerain. My sister is like her father. She would lead Herculon to destruction. My duty to our people forces me to keep her where she can do no harm. I understand. I trust you, Biffin. And, uh... May I wear these again? Of course. What did you do with Rocky Jones? Well, she had him put in prison along with Bina, Bobby, and Professor Mayberry. Well, go to Rikon, tell him I ordered the Earth people released, and have Rocky sent to me. Philandra, I don't understand you. First you welcome us, then you lock us up, then you release us. I apologize, Rocky. Well, I'm still a bit dazed. You told me of your plans concerning Regalio. I know of the Nizam, who is the ruler. They have signed the agreement just as Secretary Drake wrote it. Herculon is at your service in the struggle against Regalio and the evil forces of the Nizam. Juliandra and Herculon, come in. Clark on space station AW3. Calling Rocky Jones. Yes, Clark. Instructions from Secretary Drake. He's arriving on space station AW3. You ought to meet him here. Thank you, Clark. I have it. Out. Well, I'm sorry to have to blast off so soon, Juliandra. I gave orders to have your spaceship ready, Rocky. It's set for blast off. Sometimes, Juliandra, you're uh, very nice. And sometimes I'm very bad, you mean. Well, Rocky, I'm a woman. And remember, Women are unpredictable. Yes. We've always gone with you, Rocky. Can't we make the flight? You might need us, Rocky. We'll be gone just long enough to confer with Secretary Drake. Say, Biff, can't you show Vina and Bobby some of the places they haven't seen? Well, sure, Rocky. We'll get the keys to Herculon. That's right, Biff. And return quickly, Rocky. We have a deadline, Juliandra. Less than 30 days, with an entire solar system at stake. Up. Goodbye.
next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Rangers.